hidden in Louisiana. Iota, with only 1,500 habitants, may be a city you have never heard of. Cartville, Hodgetown, or Point o Loop as locals call it. Iota is in Acadia Parish, part of the Crowley City area. It is in this city, in the Cajun country, that we are going to find America's fittest team fighting to continue a legacy, to remain relevant, and to put a city on the map. Growing up in a small town is nice. You really, um, you know pretty much everyone in town, and if they don't know you, they know your parents. <laughs> So, um, and everyone basically goes to the high school, so if you didn't know him growing up, you'll know him by the time you get to high school. And everyone's really nice, you kind of know what's going on all the time. Um, it's pretty, like, close to it, like, if there's a fundraiser in town, or our town has a couple 5Ks, it's like the whole town shows up. So, it's really nice. Um, There's really nothing, it's not like growing up in a big city where you don't know what's going on at the other end of town. Um, the whole town's like right there, so you know it's happening pretty much all the time. And it's nice because you don't really have to go very far for anything. You have um, school, the gas station, your house, all within a couple miles of each other. So that's really nice. This little lane right down here, we live at the first house. And when Chloe was just a tiny little tot, She'd come visit us, and that's when we first realized what kind of runner she would be. She'd run back and forth from her house to my house, and she just had the most perfect form for running. That head straight up and just a full stride. So we knew she was going to be a runner. Chloe was little, well, ever since she was little, as soon as she started playing sports, um, she's always been somebody that really tries to do the best that she can in whatever it is that she's doing at the time. Uh, the first sport that she played was soccer and she would come home and just really practice and practice. Um, then from there, she eventually got into basketball and was really focused on basketball. Just, she's just always been somebody that tries to do better than, than she tries to be better than she was the day before. So um, when she got into CrossFit, um, it was really a way for her to compare herself to the, the day before and improve. At the age of 14, Chloe started doing CrossFit in the classes for kids. After I had been working out, uh, on like the CrossFit kid side uh, for a couple months. I felt like I wanted to work out on um, the adult side with my mom. So uh, I talked to the coach at the time and she was, uh, I asked her if I could move to the other side with my mom because I felt like I had been working really hard. And she said, sorry kid, you're too young because you have to be at least 16 to work out with the adults. So uh, one day I was just playing around. It was after class and uh, me and a couple other kids were just um, playing around with the rope, climbing the rope. And she saw me do a legless rope climb. And so I think that impressed her. And so she decided to let me go onto the adult side as long as I kind of stayed out of everybody's way and didn't disrupt the class. So I started doing CrossFit originally just to get better at the sports that I was already playing. And then after doing it for a while, I really I decided to stick with it because it was something different than what I had been doing before. Um, it was a different workout every day. Um, I got to work out with 
um, different people every day, but uh, you kind of start to become friends with those people. So it was just like a fun time to work out, uh, challenge yourself and get to know other people. Well, by the time that I started to work with Chloe, she was already um, crossfitting for quite a bit. Um, so she was just young, uh, very thin, <laughs> uh, and uh, just very quiet, very quiet girl who just seemed to want to work out with mom. She was super teachable and still is. In 2017, Chloe, for the first time, entered the Reebok CrossFit Games in the 14 to 15 age division. Uh, in 2017, we didn't really know what to expect because it was my first year going into games. So we just tried to work on whatever we could, um, gymnastics, getting stronger. And then going into the competition, I really just wanted to do my best. I didn't really have any expectations. So after I won, it was, uh, pretty exciting. It didn't like really uh, sink in until a couple weeks afterwards, just because we weren't expecting it at all. After Chloe won her first games competition, um, it was really, it took a while for it to really sink in that it actually happened because it was such a, let's say, far-fetched dream, um, especially being that she hadn't been doing CrossFit for so long. It was really, amazing but it probably it took a while for it to actually sink in that she had just accomplished such a a big goal that she had a year later very young chloe got to compete in the 16 to 17 age division as one of the youngest athletes in that division i really think it was as we expected um you know she knew what she was capable of she knew that you know, she was one of the least experienced, youngest girls going into that group. Um, so, yeah, she may not have won that year, but there were, you know, many wins within the year. Um, and, and she did great. It showed us even more so what she needed to work on. Um, so that helps, you know, me with game plan and, and, you know, what we need to do as far as training. Um, but for her, I think mentally, it definitely um, helps light the fire and push her to um, you know, work on her weaknesses. From August 1st to the 4th, 2019, at the age of 17, Chloe got to compete in the 16 to 17 division, her last year in the teenager's category. Emotions were flying high and redemption was on her mind. She was prepared. I mean, Chloe, you'll never say, oh, I'm going to you know, I know I'm going to do good in this. She, she won't verbalize that, but I could tell that she, she was confident going into um, the last competition. So going into the 2019 game season, uh, I really felt like that was the year that I was most prepared. Uh, I also knew it was going to be my last year as a team division. So going into that year, the goal was going to be to win just because I knew that that would be my last chance. So uh, after winning, it was really exciting to know that all my hard work had paid off and that I could leave the team division with a win. On March 7th, Chloe will be 18 years old. What will Chloe's future hold? A break from competing, yes, is a good idea, um, but we're just kind of waiting and, and trying to decide later on, um, you know, if there's a sanctional that comes up and and all is feeling good and right, then I'm not saying she won't go for it. She may, but um, I'm, I feel good about her not going to games this year. Um, and that gives her um, just enough time. She's, you know, she's also in college and she graduates high school this year. Um, it's a lot and I don't want her to have so much stress um, as a kid, you know? So um, I think that's a good strategy for her. And I also like the idea of being able to you know, she's not by any means stopping to train, like that's not happening. Um, but there's no there's no pressure when she's, you know, not like gearing up for games. So um, I like the idea of being able to still train with her and, and work with her on things and ramp her up to qualify, not for this season, but the next season, which means she wouldn't even compete at games until two years from now. So I like that idea. Um, I think that's probably the better strategy uh, for Chloe. 
So the goal eventually is to make it back to games as an individual. Uh, I'm kind of taking this year to just uh, recover, go back to the basics and build up again. And then hopefully uh, in 2020, well, t 2021, I'll be back at the CrossFit game. So uh, for people who are growing up in a small town, you can accomplish the same um, goals that people in the big towns do. Like it doesn't matter if you're from a small town or a big city. As long as you work hard, you can work just as hard as someone in a big city. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're from a small town or not, you could still uh, accomplish your goals. So I want people to look at my story and see that I just, I found something that I really love to do and I just worked really hard for it. And uh, like anyone can do what I did. It might not necessarily be in CrossFit, but you can find something that you really love to do and just work hard so you can accomplish your goals. This is the story of the two-time champion, Chloe Smith. The future is ahead of her. The city is behind her. And her legacy is just starting. Oh, oh, oh.